Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Well, here we are on our way up to uh, Mount Glorious. Uh, very beautiful uh, mountainside, a little bit cool. Uh, lots of bird life. Hopefully there'll be lots of herps. Well, here we are, we're at a location known as Fang Rock, where there's some resident uh, common death adders, Acanthophis antarcticus. Uh, again, it's, it's only 15 or 17 degrees Celsius, uh, which means in the mid 60s in uh, American terms. Uh, a little chilly, hopefully, the sun, well, the sun breaks through periodically, so hopefully there's some uh, Death adders uh, sunning themselves. We'll see. Haven't seen any death adders, but certainly this general scenery is just awesome. So here we have common death adder habitat, and those those lapids that act as landmines uh, could be anywhere. Uh, I'm currently up on the catwalk uh, that would keep. Uh, uh, everybody uh, safe mm, however I will probably venture off the catwalk in hopes that I can actually uh, uh, spot some now knowing how good my death adders are in hiding uh, if I actually spot one this will be a monumental task um, also uh, Worried about uh, stepping on one, of course, but uh, unlike uh, my flip-flop friends who don't wear proper footwear when out uh, working with snakes, uh, I certainly do. I don't take th that chance. You know, I might be a little bit cavalier when I'm working with a snake, but out in the wild, uh, um, I'm all business. Even in the lair, I wear proper footwear. Uh, in jeans, never go in there with shorts because uh, denim will stop a, a strike and prevent you from getting envenomed or you'll get a lighter dose of venom. You can hear the frogs calling and of course frogs are on the top of the menu for death adders since they're ambush predators. Little old uh, frogs go hopping by and run into a very bad situation and uh, generally don't live to tell about it. From the safety of the catwalk, uh, really... Uh, don't think I have much chance of actually uh, seeing one, but I figured uh, then I would give it a go first and then figure out how to get down there. Being 61 years old and have lots of uh, orthopedic issues, um, this sort of uh, task is no longer uh, so easy for this uh, guy. So we shall see uh, what's the best uh, way to get down and around in there. Well, after about 45 minutes to an hour of up and down this steep uh, incline with all the rocks and stuff, uh, it's just too cold. No death adders were found. Of course, I could have stepped right near one and not even seen it, but that's the brakes. Well, it was a nice little place where we were last night. Uh, 
calls it the frog pond. And he, supposedly there's a number of rough scale snakes here. Tropidoechus. So we will sometimes crawl up into trees, so we will be vigilant uh, 360 degrees. Now, like your typical alapid is if I disturb it or it senses me coming, it will be off like a little rocket. And always very hesitant in grabbing any snake on the run because sometimes they will come around on you and it can be a very rude encounter. track a little bit and look in the sunny spots because you can you can't tell where they're gonna be of course <laughs> if they're out at all or a termite nest. We will not molest it, we will leave it alone. The reason why Tropidoechus, uh, rough scale snakes, are here is because this place was just singing with frogs last night. So of course the frogs are, are being quiet now. It was quite the uh, very nice chorus. It's always nice to hear frogs uh, singing away. One of my favorite experiences was my trip to Thailand in the jungle there. Total pitch black, sort of misty rain, and all you could hear around you were frogs. And not just one species, <laughs> a huge number of species that uh, I can't even account for. Of course, you have to be somewhat an expert at, uh, in the area of frogs to realize what species belongs to what song. But uh, it was still very enjoyable. Well, how rude. I'm not gonna try to climb around that. I'll end up in the pond and that's not my intention. Well, Scott uh, put me on snakes uh, on this rainy, cool night here in Brisbane. Uh, carpet python uh, nestled up in the roof of this uh, uh, what's your word for it? Dunny here? Yeah, Dunny, mate. I've taken out of the shitters. Yeah, we're in the shitter as usual. Uh, uh, but this is a carpet python. Uh, he's, uh, where she is happily nestled in the roof of this, uh, this restroom complex in the park. But at least we, uh, we came across a snake. It's my last day in Brisbane and I'm out with my uh, my good mate uh, Scott. He's taken me to an area where 
He's uh, caught uh, a number of species of lapid. Um, and the weather's uh, been a little bit warmer today, 25, 26 Celsius. Uh, so we're hoping that that has uh, brought some out the bass. car door certainly is uh, an inviting place for a snake to hide. And another cane toad. Another one sitting there as well. Oh, bloody hell. These are the guys that are killing the environment. The uh, snakes. What was that? A scoop. Concrete. Yeah, lots of ants or termites. I found in the U.S. that if there's ants or turtles, there's just uh, no snakes are cohabitating. Oh, you get um, uh, blind snakes here, and you also get um, uh, I've got brown snakes and whip snakes under the same sort of stuff. Okay, so here's a blind snake, which is uh, one of the favorite uh, foods of bandy bandies, right? Yep, that's correct. So that is, I'd have to count the scales on it, that's probably a Nilios weedii. You hear that? Ah. See so yeah, it's got the brown tip. Yep. So I get quite a few of these on call outs every year. <laughs> People call, you know, afraid of, of something, as something as, as, as pretty as that. You know, beautiful little snake. Yeah, you would think it would be a worm, not a snake. Yeah. Oh, very nice. And this is, uh, I know bandy bandies aren't kept uh, here by uh, hobbyists because they're really specialized feeders. And uh, this is what they would feed on normally. That's it. So. Very nice. And you say, look at all the ants. Huh. Amazing. You're saying to me that they don't get hurt with ants? Well, okay, so so what is their feed? Is it ants? Ant eggs. Ant eggs. Ant, ant eggs, that's it. So they're, they're basically don't give a damn about getting bit or anything no, like that. No, no, no. There's, there's some really interesting things about these. Um, I've got a couple of papers that are, we're working on in regards to these species in the moment. So, But I'll, I'll save it for those papers to come out. Yep. Um, but that'll be something down the track anyway. All right, very good. Well, cool. release the little bloke. Let him carry on with his life. Hey, Viper Keeper here. Sydney Harbor. I'm heading towards the uh, Taranga Zoo for uh, a little uh, uh, up close and personal with some of the animals there. Uh, in the background you can see the Sydney Opera, Opera House. Uh, I'll let you know my progress uh, as we go.
We've already seen lots of these uh, in both pictures and in collections. These are in winter coloration. Sucks up to the stupidity. It may be the most venomous snake uh, or lethal to uh, mice and rats, but it won't kill very many humans, if any at all. Oh, now we're talking a big red belly black snake. They're just so beautiful. They kill you. They kill me? Um, That's red right belly. Black snake. Black snake. That's lovely. Oh, look at that. He's warm and active. Or she. Uh, yes, hello. <laughs> Folks, once again, you can just forget. Ooh, off to the races. You can just forget any still photography with uh, any Australian alapid unless you put it in the refrigerator for a while. They're just uh, too crazy, too active. Oh my word. I would say that this one's probably a male. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there were all males in here because zoos don't want their animals to breed unexpectedly. Hello, yes, I know, you're flattening your neck. You're, you're not a happy camper right now, huh? Am I bothering you? Yes, I saw you moving. These are one of the snakes that uh, I would love to have in the collection. Uh, but Australia does not legally export their flora and fauna. Unless you're a qualified zoo and you pay large amounts of money to, to get them. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, occasionally these are available through uh, through European venues uh, who smuggled the snakes out of Australia. Uh, governments just can't stop this. Uh, they should legalize it and regulate it. Uh, but governments never allow. Unfortunately, you can only slightly see their very beautiful uh, red scoots on their vent ventral side. This is the slowest I've meet, seen a red belly black snake move in a long time. Hello. Unfortunately, because there's glass here, this is as close to red belly black snake cam as you'll possibly get. Well, this is a red belly black snake, very, very common. Yeah, That is so cool. It's probably looking at it. They're very dangerous, though. Yes. It can kill you. It can kill you.
Well, they certainly have the potential to kill you, but uh, most people end up with just uh, some local tissue damage. Mm -hmm. I always tried on one of those. Oh my God! It was dark. I was walking home and I just saw a crack on the ground. It was dark. Wow, a zoo actually has a monocle cobra. A junk snake. Nice habitat, though. So this is where all my water dishes went. He is the big snake. Eyelash viper. Bathriatus schlegelon. Of course, we have this rather large varanid, Komodo dragon. And of course, my mate, uh, Brian Fry, has done the science. And it's no longer a theory or anything. Varanids are indeed venomous. It is a myth that the bacteria killed their prey, but it's actually the effects of venom 